take, if we all take our seats, please. We're going to go ahead and can we convene the meeting. Um, this is a workshop on discussion and uh, village branding proposal. I must warn everybody, I must leave by 9.45. Uh, if, if not, I'll just pass the meeting over to them, okay? Um, Madam Clerk, you want to go ahead and call roll? Mayor Turpin. Here. Vice Mayor Samaria. Present. Commissioner Tudor. Commissioner Johnson Sardella. Okay, uh, manager, I'm gonna have you open it up. Okay, um, former Commissioner Wise put this together and so I'm gonna be going through it to the best of my ability. She did brief me a little bit on it today. I hate to tell you this, but your mic is barely working. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I just need to speak into the mic a little better. I'm gonna have introduce it. This is a workshop. We're gonna do this first. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, we started off with this with three sources of data. We, had, we did a direct mail survey, we had an online poll, and then we used data from the earlier vision work that another group had done. And so we tried to incorporate some of all of that into this. So those were our, our sources to begin our starting point. Uh, the survey data, we had 165 residents that responded um, to the survey and ranked the initiatives um, in order of preference or priority, with one being most preferred, nine being the least. Um, you can see them on, no, you can't see them on screen. Could you, yeah. We're gonna do public comments after the presentation. page okay there we are now we're on the same page thank you okay so the items that were most important um, traffic calming reduce our millage median landscaping installation of pathways improvements to the rec center facility um, conversion from septic annexation but these were actually these were the items that that we put on our survey and asked them to to rank one to nine next page please can you back up just one second? Can you back up one? Back up one, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. And the values data, and these are what our values are, our core beliefs, and what we should use as a guide for all that we do here. Um, it's uh, who we are as a village is what we're trying to establish. And the values that are here are important, um, but we'd like to know which are more important to you. And that was what we put on our, our survey. So um, this was the online one. We received, I believe, 37 responses to that. And so those responses, integrity, security, ethics, transparency, preparedness, leadership, fairness. And you can see how those all rank. Next slide, please. So then we took the results from all three sources, uh, the, the poll, the survey, um, the former um, presentation as well, and we started grouping like values. For instance, um, if you, we had integrity and transparency and ethics, and we grouped those together because those are similar items. Security and preparedness, like for hurricanes, that sort of thing, those are similar responsiveness, accountability, respect and fairness, and then community. And that's what we did. We grouped them together like that so that we, it was too much to, to have 10 separate values and we're trying to get them into to concise areas so that we can actually create a brand with these. Next slide, please. So our values. In the village of Biscayne Park, we strive to provide residents, officials, and staff with a deep sense of community realized through our values. Integrity in government, okay, and if you remember our grouping, that was the, the first one. Um, all we do is guided by a commitment to ethical, transparent action intended to serve the best interests of our community. Safety and security, we establish and maintain measures to ensure public safety and are prepared to protect our community accountability and action. We're responsive and responsible, addressing needs as they arise, 
owning to our missteps when we make them. Respect for all. We treat everyone fairly, and each individual equally as our conscience and our constitution demand. We favor no one's individual interest over another's. In the community and caring, we're kind and gentle with one another, ensuring we foster a sense of welcome to all who visit us and belonging in everyone who lives here. And these were the, the values that, that came out of these surveys. We're starting to put them there. Please go back. So. We're starting to put them there in the groups and starting to flesh them out a little bit to detail what they mean. Okay. And then the mission. Next slide, mission data. Our mission, so what's our purpose as a village? What should we be working on every day to, to move forward to make this village a great place to live and work and play? And all the efforts are important. And so we had people rank which ones were most important to you and say, please choose 10. And um, listed on there are the 10. We see 22 responses to this. Mission data part two. Next slide. These were our responses. Um, why do we engage in the efforts of our mission? What do we hope to achieve? All the outcomes here are important, uh, but which are most important to you? That was one of our questions. We received 21 responses to this. Um, and this one, again, to enhance the quality of life, to keep residents safe, uh, to foster a sense of community, budget and plan for infrastructure investment, build our fiscal health and reserves, raise our own property values, um, and so forth. You can see on the, on the screen the others. Next slide, please. So what we did is we took all of those responses that we received, and utilizing those, we created this, our mission statement. Our mission is to enhance the quality of life in the village of Biscayne Park. That's the what part of what we do. Um, so we protect and prepare our village through responsible and respectful policing, comprehensive preparation and financial planning, and by informed stewardship of its natural beauty, flora, and fauna. We strive to maintain and improve the value of our homes by continually enhancing our park and its offerings, and fairly but firmly educating, informing, and enforcing our code and building standards. That way we ensure that for the residents, and this is the, the how we do it portion of this. Um, that way we ensure that for residents, visitors, administration, staff, and officials, the village of Biscayne Park, let me back up there. That way we ensure that for residents, visitors, administration, staff, and officials, that's the who we serve. That's who we're doing this. Um, the village of Biscayne Park is an ever better place to live, work, and play. And it's a safe, secure, warm, and welcoming community, which is the why we do it. That's what we want, ultimately, our community to be. Um, I think we're, we're already there to an extent, but there's always room for improvement. Our vision data. And so, this is an additional 27 responses to this. If we work rel relentlessly at our efforts of our mission, where will we be 10 years from now? And I think this came from the visioning group that um, met a few months ago. And so what would be the ideal state for the village, in your opinion? And they gave their responses, you know, lowest crime rate, safest streets for pedestrians, most beautiful green space of any municipality, healthiest financials and healthy re reserves, the hardy reserves, uh, friendliest neighbors, most connected and caring community highest property values, future-ready infrastructure, state-of-the-art park, rec center and offerings, and exceptional code enforcement and compliance. So putting that all together, what our vision statement is through all of this is, <coughs> and you'll notice again, if you look at the different colors, the items in the same color on the left will match what we're going for on the right. So the vision of Biscayne Park will continue to be an oasis, which is our most beautiful green space, in the heart of Miami, distinguished for its natural beauty. It will be known for its safe, secure, which goes with 
coincides with the lowest crime, safest streets, future ready infrastructure, healthiest financials, um, well maintained streets, high value homes, that's highest property values, exceptional code enforcement, <coughs> Excuse me. and state of the art park and facilities. Where residents, staff, and visitors alike are welcome to live, work, and play in peace and harmony. And that again coincides with the friendliest neighbors and most connected and caring um, individuals for the village. That's what we're shooting for. Here. And that seems to be from our tabulation of what we received from residents, our feedback from residents, what should be our goals with this. Um, what we'll be looking for with the commission from the commission tonight is if you guys all agree with this and think we should move forward, then we'll continue to start to create a brand based on our this vision. Um, Commissioner Tudor and then Vice Mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. You're absolutely correct. Public comments first. Um, open the floor to public comments. Since there's only three of you here, anybody, did you have an order? Madam Clerk? Yes. Next on Canada. Stuck along, stuck around a long time, so I could say a couple of things to you guys about this. Uh, McDonald Kennedy, 11705 Northeast 11th Place. First of all, I, I'm going to respond. I have a prepared thing, but I want to respond to something Christian said. I want, we made this so abundantly clear. Our vision that we put together was never meant to be used as a source for any information. It was an example, and we said, literally, I stood here and ripped it in two and said, now I'm ripping it up, and you guys go do something. It was never meant to be sourced for information. I agree with the need for this project. I volunteered with the group that suggested this project in the first place, and I personally led the workshops. And I don't necessarily disagree with the results. They really aren't that much different than what we came up with. They're just not as articulated as well as ours, and they certainly aren't as concise. But that's not the point. The point is that branding this village and setting a long-term vision, vision should be a commission project from the start with original input from the community. What you're looking at tonight is the Betsy brand for Biscayne Park. Her vision derived from a seriously flawed process and that's what I want to talk about. The idea of it is, is great, clearly. It was, I pushed for it and the results aren't terrible. It's all the in-between stuff that is seriously flawed and that's what you guys need to talk about tonight. Number one, the commission never discussed the project, its goals, or its execution. The commission never agreed to any of the details regarding this project. Betsy, I think with Christian, manhandled it from the start. Aren't you guys embarrassed at being sidelined on possibly the most strategic and visionary project this village has under undertaken? I know you're considering it now, but you're considering something that wasn't done properly, and you were set off to the side by someone. Betsy created and sent a mailer to Biscayne Park residents that none of you saw, discussed, or approved. That mailer cost money and Christian's allowed to spend it, but the content started leading residents in certain directions without any of you even being aware, aware of it. Betsy led residents by the nose right from the start. You don't start with a, a, a product and say, now let's talk about it. The workshops did not elicit original feedback from residents. Betsy, on her own and with her firm, supposedly based on mailer feedback that no one approved, merely developed a list of words and phrases that residents were asked to sort. We were told to sort some words. That's not feedback. There was no reasonable way to have additional talking points added or seriously considered by residents. Again, Betsy led us down a path and you had no say. She marginalized you in that process. The sampling size was too small. There was no rush for this. <coughs> Betsy may have had qualifications to spearhead this effort and don't take this personally, but none of you are uniquely qualified to manage this project to completion now. Even an engineer isn't qualified for this job. I can't stomach even listening to you try to discuss something so lofty. I'm just going to take off and let you do your thing. But I strongly urge you, kill this project. Set it aside and table it. When you have a fully functioning commission, maybe you can bring it back to life and make sure it's done right. But this is a really, this is a joke. Next. Then keep, uh, no, none of it. Lin it's fine. okay. Linda Dillon, please. You want to talk afterwards as well? Linda did. I agree with you. 
If you, any comments you make and make, you have to stand in front of the mic. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it simple. <laughs> Good job. You all know I was originally on this project with Mac and an, a, a number of others, and we worked very hard on this. One of the issues that I have is that when we gave our presentation, there were a number of residents that got up and said they really were not in favor of this at all. And that was not an option given when the questionnaires were sent out in terms of whether people even really wanted to follow through with this particular project. And I'm particularly bothered that we have over 3,100 residents and yet we got 165 responses. I just don't think this is the time, as Max said, to continue with this. We have a commission that's not fully functioning. We have a lot of other issues that I think we need to deal with first. Um, I think we can consider this again, but I would like to do it in the future. Thank you. If you could sign in, please, first, or afterwards. Doesn't matter either way. Yeah. Jared Susi, 1030 Northeast 120th Street. I have to echo exactly what Mac and uh, Mrs. Dillon said. Um, not the right time. We need we need some more people up there, and we need a lot more participation within the community. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now open up floor, Commissioner. That's only 5.2 percent, mm -hmm. which is uh, statistically uh, insignificant. I would argue. I, 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 when you do sampling, a 5.2 percent is not necessarily a good sample size. Um, Neither is 300 in an election. But and then when you look at the responses along the way here as well, like 37 responses for the value data. So I don't know if that's the number of people that responded to this particular which, item. Which page? Where it says, um, for example, Adam's data. Says 100% um, engagement, and then below that says 37 responses. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was 37 responses as well received. Yeah. Them. So you're looking at that at only being 1.2%. Um, omission data part one, that's only 0.7%. Omission data part two, 0.7%. Vision data, 0.85%. So the response rate is is, is too low. Um, I think this is a good project. Uh, in the future, um, I think this would probably be better suited when we have updated the website, when we have initiated a newsletter, and we can get some of that information out to the residents and see what kind of response we can get back. But also, um, to also echo what um, Dylan was saying as well, um, I would like to also know how many residents actually think that this is a project that the commission should be. Um, so I would like to see how many people respond not interested um, along those lines because if, if we have a, if we have a majority of the residents a large uh, percentage of residents who feel that the commission should be directing their energies elsewhere I'd rather direct energies elsewhere this is a very um, it's gonna be a very intensive a very burdensome project but if we're going to continue with this, I think it really, we should really do that once we have a new website updated, where we can get information on the website, maybe make it interactive, maybe have a poll on the website, and also when we have a new I'm, I'm going to, well, I'm going to let Vice Mayor go and I'll end it after that. The concept, sorry, this concept is great. And I will give credit to Commissioner Weiss. The way she put this together was good. Uh, but I never, as a commissioner, I never had the opportunity to work on this. Mm -hmm. I was misled on exactly what was going to be done. In reference to go to meeting, we never informed we had our problem with, with um, Zoom. Well, we already discussed that, so I don't want to talk about negative. We just, I was never, as a commissioner, given full concept. I never had any approval of any way we were going to do this workshop. And uh, 
like I said, the idea is good. Um, I feel we need to table this. Uh, as I agree with Commissioner Tudor, there's not enough sample. Um, the areas that you're trying to cover is good. I think we need to do the communication as we did the last workshop that we had, all three of us here. We had a good communication, and I think we accomplished a lot of communication. I think the communication workshop should be what's first before what our um, random is supposed to be. I think the communication is, to me is the most important. I want to I want to take care of the branding. I mean the communication first. Get our websites done. Get our um, the email blast. How we can better communicate with it. Branding is to tell people how they should live their lives. I don't think that that's our responsibility as a community. Uh, that's not what branding is. Uh, so. To me that's where I got it from. Um, but like I said, for this right now, I think it's a good project that maybe later on. We don't have a full commission. We only got three months. And I, I just think we should table this and do other work on the communication workshop and get that completely done. Um, I'd like to address two things. We are a full commission because we have three people sitting up here and we have to do our jobs. That's, that's what we were elected to do. And with three people sitting up here, we, that's what we should do with a quorum. Um, as far as the branding workshop goes, first of all, I want to thank Commissioner Wise for all her work on this because I don't think, um, and I appreciate that Vice Mayor did, did acknowledge that. This is a tremendous amount of work. Um, in, in any large company or any large place where you're doing branding, you're not going to get a large sample size, but I do concur the sample size is, is a bit small. I really do, statistically. Um, and, and I think that is part of the problem for me. As far as what she did with the small sample size and turned it into a great project, I, I think she did an excellent job. I really do. As far as what to do, I think the one thing I will agree with uh, Mr. Kennedy on is no, I am not qualified to sit here and do branding. It is not my specialty. That's why we had somebody who was specialized in it looking at it. Um, I, I think my issue is before we have a brand for the whole village, I do think there should be more participation. But I do think we can use what was done. Um, and the other, uh, the other thing is having done some similar pieces in terms of surveying for the rec center on the rec center board as vice chair, the greatest challenge of all is the only way I got participation was literally to stand in line during a presidential election and ask people to fill out a survey. And we got a very large turnout relative to the population. We got 300, I think it was, I don't quote me on this, but I think it was in the 300 range, 350 range, maybe 400, I can't remember. That was a adequate sample size for the community because it was 10%. You're never going to get more than 10%. So if you're looking for more than 10% to participate in something like this, it's highly unlikely, statistically. We can't, we could, when we had an election, and in a special election, usually 300 to 350 votes carries it versus 700, 750 votes during a regular election. So you're not going to get 3,100 people to participate. I'm sorry, that's just not realistic. It's ideal, but it's, it's not realistic. So I do think a sample size, of, and it was 165, is that correct, um, Manager? Okay, so we did get 165, which is 5%. Um, I think it's interesting that some of them chose not, I think what's more interesting in the data is that some of them chose not to answer the questions. That to me is more telling than the fact that we had a small sample size, statistically and mathematically. I think there's a reason why they didn't choose to answer one over another, they may have found too many similarities and it may have been, we may be able to pare it down a bit more, I think in the future to make there less choices. There's a, there's a downside to that because then you're still dictating the choices. But I'm, I, I think it's fair because of all the work that went into this to acknowledge the person who donated their time to do this, who had the professional knowledge who does this for large companies and, and to thank Commissioner Wise for her efforts. So I will end it with that. As far as what you do with this, I think I'd like to put it in the manager's hand to figure out what we need to do with this. As far as commission and policy and so forth, I'd like your recommendations on what we should do. Okay. I'm asking. I'm asking for what right now. I think we can move forward with this, quite honestly. Um, I think it's, it's similar enough to the one that the visioning group put together. Um, I think it gave us, you know, a 5% response rate is not spectacular, but I think it's probably indicative of, you know, the, the values that the village wants. These, as a result, these are all pretty generic, safe, make it pretty, you know, that sort of thing. Be transparent about it and, and all of that from that perspective. Could, I think we 
could move forward with. Could you tell me if we had to hire another company to do this for us at a cost to our village? Because I'm going to guess Commissioner Wise wouldn't be willing to do this again after, frankly, the, the attitude that some of the, the residents gave her. Um, my, my guess would be at this point, what would it cost the village if we had this professionally done? Um, I would say, well, it would depend on the company, whether we hire Estimated an range or a, a large company, you know. Could range up to $50,000? It, it can vary. I mean, uh, this part, Commissioner Wise, the part that she did, she said her company would have charged, you know, about ten grand for that. Okay, so about ten thousand so, dollars. And that's I just the, the beginning of it. Right so before then, so so this was pretty much a, a donated function. It was. Okay, so here's my take on this. Um, I, I'm not the marketing person. I'm the implementer. I'm the engineer. I'm the person who looks at the nuts and bolts. I understand where Vice Mayor is coming from and I understand where you're coming from as well regarding the moving forward or not moving forward with this. Um, I don't think it's, um, I, I think we could probably move forward with what it is, but I do think we need to have more input. I think having it with this few people is where, where the, to me, where the, where the problem is. So I would, like to see, I would like to see us move forward with it, but I'd like to see it um, put out again and there's more data so that we have better responses. I'd like to see at least at least a full 5% across the board. I think that would be better. I'm happy to um, put stuff out there to ask that, but I just don't think, and you'd have to ask Commissioner Wise whether she'd be willing to, to follow up if we put it out and, and then and see if there was any changes that were made as a result of having a bigger survey. That's where my comfort zone is. Can you lend me your mic? What is interesting is the fact that the, the initial 165 residents, the 5.2 percent, what they were responding to were almost priorities that they'd like to see the village move forward on. I mean, we're talking about annexation, traffic calming, reducing the millage. When it when it seemed like it got to the points of developing the, the warm and fuzzy, the warm yeah, and fuzzy part, yeah, right? <laughs> developing a brand itself. That's when it seemed like that's when the numbers dropped. You know, the highest is I think 1.2 percent for one of. So. You know that if you know to develop the brand we need i think well, i know we need more responses especially to those i was questions. comfortable answering the first one but when you started to get to the other stuff i was like okay yeah which so do i have to pick because they're similar i think that's where i think that's what to me the interesting part of the survey to me was the part they were comfortable with and not the part that they were uncomfortable well, with. well i took it to be residents saying we'll tell you what we want you to do what we want to see but I'm not. In, I'm not that interested in, you know, telling you. Is it may be interest. It may be comfort. It, we don't know. So, I, so I think that's where that there was that disconnect. So, you know, I definitely think because of that, that the those questions that are related to branding the village, those numbers are way too small. I mean, it, you talk about 37 responses, 22. So I think, you know, we would have to go forward and get more responses. And I think that. You know, part of the problem is we don't have, and we talked about during the communication workshop, ways to get information out to residents. And I think as we start to in improve those things, websites, the newsletter, once we start going down those and, and well, having uh, those tools, I think that that will probably be the most opportune time to start getting out. I'm sorry I wasn't able to stay for that, but I will share with you what uh, one other um, vice mayor had, had said during one of my meet meetings I had attended recently. And he said, nobody wants long bits of information. They don't want long newsletters. They don't want, they've tried everything. These were bigger cities that had big budgets and marketing and all that. They want exactly what we're accustomed to now when we all live on our phones. Give it to me in less than a minute. And if you can't give it to me in less than a minute, I don't want it. So one of the things that we have accustomed to is a lot of, and a lot of the folks that were accustomed to the newsletter and read it and were enjoying that, I hate to say it, those days, not here. What, what a lot of people were talking about was Instagram and Facebook. Facebook for the older crowd and Instagram for the younger crowd. And they would put on video tubes, YouTubes for 60 seconds because the idea was to get, if you want people's input, you have this much time to get in the window because everybody's busy. And I'm not suggesting we do social media. I've already had my pleasure with this one. But um, I will say that that was an interesting viewpoint that I wanted to share with my fellow commissioners because I wasn't able to attend the workshop. That a lot of the communication piece, um, which, which we talk about branding, and you want to have more responses and you want people to do stuff, 
First of all, you have to get their attention. They have to sign up and they have to be willing to do e-blast, but we have to keep it brief, short, and concise. A and I think that's something we should think about moving forward. So how does the commission want to move forward with this or not move forward with this? Do you want to table this for the time being? I, I think we should table it because we need to get the website, we need to get all the other stuff that we need to do that's going to be tied in with the brand. The concept is good. I like it. And like I said, when somebody does something right, I give credit. And I'm giving credit to Betsy Weiss because she did work hard on it. My biggest problem was I had no participation and the rest of the commissioners didn't have to. That's a separate subject matter. That's my major problem with that. I, but the samples are, are, are so small. But I think right now, until we get our website updated or, and we get our communication area that we need to cut, because I think the communication, before you can get to the branding, communication is the most important part first. And then you can do the branding. I mean, that's just my opinion. And the other issue is then you'd have to sit here, unfortunately, reestablish all that data, and then we'd have to pay some for somebody to accumulate all the data. And for that reason, I'm a little hesitant. At the same time, I don't mind, I agree with him, the 5% response I think is a legitimate to move forward with that, but the other components, um, I almost, would. I mean, and this is your background, this is something you've done. Okay, so I wanna back up for just a minute. You, you and um, Commissioner Wise have the experience and, and the expertise in this. You feel comfortable moving forward with it, but could you tell us what that would mean specifically? What that would mean specifically is Commissioner, Ro or former Commissioner Wise and I would work together on this. We've got a basic plan. We'd probably go out to designers, start to design different aspects of it, like website appearances, that sort of thing, and bring that back to commission for approval. Can you, if there's no objection, fellow commissioners, since we are, since the two are tied together so carefully between communications and, and the website, could they work on parts of this to incorporate into the website? And you don't necessarily have to have all the missioning, missioning stuff done, but if you're going to do a website, you do have to have some of the basics done. So could we use some of this for web website development at least? I mean, that doesn't seem like that would be that critical. I mean, this you know, not making, I use it for Right, because it's not enough, because it's not enough sample size. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so so to be fair, um, because I think I think the one area that we were um, not in disagreement on was talking about our values, and the reason I'm stating that's integrity in government, safety and security, accountability and action, respect for all, community and caring. Is there anything in there that we could use towards our website at least? All of that goes towards the the feel of our website. I mean, all of that is, is right. accurate. Because here, here's, here's what I'm trying to say to everybody. If we don't use this, then we're going to design a website. There it goes. We're going to design a website, and at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you how you're going to want to do it. And it's not going to have anybody's input. That, that's where I have a problem. We can we can always update the change. No, no, I'm agreeing, but I'm saying, could he use some of this? Because if not, I, I'm I'm not trying to. Please understand, I, I'm really not. I really agree with you on the sample size issue. I'll, I really agree with you on the sample size issue. Okay, I'd recommend that at this point we just probably table, table, table it. Okay, fine. Is there a motion to table? Oh, well, I'm sorry, I apologize. We're in a workshop. We cannot make a motion. We cannot do it. Is there a consensus to table without voting? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Um, with that, is there a motion to? Okay, is because of that, and because we are a small commission, I am recommending that we change the date if needed. Is that a possibility, sir? Okay. 
can we do it? The, is the eleventh a Tuesday? Did, did we say that whether or not uh, Commissioner Jenny well. Zanzaro was going to be here? That's going to be. If she's she, going to be here, then it's calm. She's planning to be. Um, as of today, she mentioned that she would be here the next time. But in, in light of the circumstances, I don't know that she necessarily can guarantee that at this time. Could you and could so you um, reach out and just confirm a date to see if we could do it on the 11th with all of us and then come back to us and let us know so that 11 is the holiday. Maybe. Yeah, oh, that's better. 12th. So the 12th? The 12th? Yeah. The 12th work for you, Vice Mayor? Yeah. 12th works for me. Would you check with uh, Commissioner Johnson Sardella and just make sure the 12th work for her as well? And if not, we'll plan on the 12th. And if not, we'll you'll you'll be an email. Let us know, and also as quickly as possible, let the public know. Okay. All righty. If with that, is there a motion to adjourn? I made I made a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye.